Welcome back, everybody! Oh boy, an earthquake is always a great way to start out an episode, for sure. Aren't they just fun? Sentinel, it's morning. Time to wake up. I feel like everyone's come to wake up Sentinel at this point. Sentinel, it's morning, dear. <coughs> what are you, my mom? Well, if you won't get up, I'm just going to have to sleep, too. Take that. <laughs> okay. Really? And right as he wakes up, too? What kind of threat is that? Oh, good morning, Sentinel. <laughs> Sentinel, are you awake? Uh... Dot, dot, dot! Oh, hello, Shirley. Good morning. Oh, wait. Hello, Shirley. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Good timing, Shirley. There's something I wanted to ask you. Who's that? I'm really confused. It's about the Everlight. Did you see the way it glowed? I'm pretty sure it was the same as my brooch. That's what I figured. We should have realized it sooner. An oil that can cure any disease and a miraculous jewel that can grant any wish. They're really saying the same thing. I remember now, Stella called it a tear of the sea, didn't she? It's not just the sea, though. It's Nerefus. Nerefus. Well, in the end, it's just like any power. It all depends on how it's used. It can help people and it can hurt them. How can it hurt people, though? I want to use my power to help people. Yeah. What a lovely thing to say. I'll cheer you on. Oh, right. Settle, can you come to Will's house? Oh, that's right. I came here to tell Settle the same thing. You did? You remember you got here just a few moments before you did, Shirley. <coughs> Why didn't you? Huh? What? Why didn't you say so earlier? Ow, ow, what are you pinching me for? Hey! I don't really get why she's mad either, but... Interlude character quest. Okay. Well, you know, I just realized, I, didn't, I haven't really checked when... Oh my gosh. I haven't really checked when I'm supposed to progress the, the next, uh, the side quest thing. Really during the party, we see the title of Jealous Girl. Oh no. Not Jealous Girl, anything but that. Alright, Shirley, I'm gonna check the rope. Before I check the other stuff. Jealous girl. One defense. I look at myself in the mirror and sigh again. I mean, they're just not. What? Did Shirley really get jealous because Groon was in Senel's bed? I'm, I'm really confused by that. Like, come on, man. It's freaking Groon, man. Alright, alright. Give me one... One moment, one moment. Let's see, where is that? There is that. Alright, let's see. I hope I'm not spoiling something by looking at this too early, but let's see. Oh, actually, this is this is right when we're supposed to do the next part of one of these things, anyway. Alright, alright, actually, okay, okay. Both of these can progress literally right now. This is the perfect time to look at it, then. <coughs> so, we're gonna go pay a visit to the two side quest places, once we are able to, that is. Hello there, random person. Excuse me, might I trouble you for a moment? I'm looking for directions. Hmm, sure. Could you tell me how to get to the graveyard? Oh, well, it's... Feels like deja vu a little bit. Oh, my. Oh, jeez, he looks really evil. What is it? Oh, uh, it's nothing. I'm sorry. I'm just terribly racist, to fairness. It's just your hair is so beautiful, I nearly lost myself in its luster. It truly is wondrous. It reminds me of the rumors I've heard about the Radiant. They say the Radiant had beautiful golden hair. Hey, watch it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being terribly rude after all. We only just met. We want to go to the graveyard, right? It's over towards Falling Water. Oh, on the opposite side of the city. No wonder I couldn't find it. Thank you very much. Good day. What a creep. 
something about that guy I don't like. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. It's okay, you didn't bother me anyway, so I don't... We need to go to Will's house. Right. <coughs> alright, alright, alright. Well, let's go pay our side quest people a visit real quick. We gotta visit Caroline right now, and we gotta go visit the couple. Hello, you. Hello, you. Hi, I'm Caroline. I'm still looking for Caparicio. Fortunately, that Orosaurin wearing a judo uniform thing turned out to be wrong, but I've heard some new evidence. It seems that there's an Orosaurin who plays a harp that hangs around a girl with a flower hairpin. The other me inside my head keeps whispering, that's Caparicio, over and over and over and over, and... I mean, she's gonna say that again if I talk to her again, right? Yep, 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 okay. I think that was new. That, that, that did sound new. Alright, so there's that, and then we just gotta talk to the couple, and then that's it for that. And then basically... Well... I'll, I'll say that thought in just a moment, but... Basically things! Ha 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 ha. So wouldn't you like to know? Well, just wait about one more minute, and then you'll hear what I was gonna say. Do you remember the day we first fought and then made up? It was about chocolate cornets, whether you eat it from the front or the back. I mean, can't you do both? You still eat it from the back. You still eat it from the front. Ha ha ha, we sure fought about some stupid stuff. Today is the anniversary of the day we first fought and made up. Yes, you're right, let's celebrate just the two of us. With these people that just walked inside our house. Well, okay, we're probably gonna say the same thing as you usually do. Darling, what is it? I love you, I love you too, Barry. So, yeah, I don't know. It's stupid to fight over little small things like that. You know, <coughs> an opinion is an opinion, you know? If you like to eat it from the front, eat it from the front. If you like to eat it from the back, eat it from the back. That's no re that is really not grounds for fighting, I feel, but I don't know. What do I know? I feel like you can have disagreements, but you don't have to fight over every disagreement, you know? So anyway, uh, blah, 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 blah. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, it wasn't about the inventory, it was about something else. I was going to say, there is still more to go, of course, which you can probably already expect that, but... What else is there? I don't know. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright, I know, I know when to do the next one, then. Obviously, we can't do it right now, but... Just saying, just saying. There is going to be a point in which we'll be able to do the, the next one, and I know exactly when it's going to be. It's actually about... I don't know if it's at the same point, but it's the same character quest. So, when we get to that point, we should be able to do both of them within that character quest. I don't know if we're going to be able to do them at the same time, but... At least in that character quest. Yes, we can. Absolutely we can. You better believe it's going to happen. Alright, Will. Hello, Moses. Hello, Taba. Another one of our group was attacked. This is the sixth time now. Stay calm. I'll take care of it. What if it's Geet? He would never do something like that. Hey, look. I trust Geet, too, but not everyone knows him like we do. Several of our own people suspect Geet. Don't do anything until I give word. I'll trust you to keep the boys in line. What's the issue? Alright, but they hate waiting for stuff to happen, you know. I don't think they'll be able to sit still for very long. Anyway, I'm off. I'm going to look into this some more. Right, good luck! Did something happen with Chaba? He looks a little troubled. Nah, that's nothing. Chaba likes warning about stuff. Mm, no geek today? Well, we ain't always together. I was waiting you to. Waiting and waiting and waiting. How long do we keep him waiting? Perhaps a little too long. Looks like we're all not here. Yeah, Bubbles ain't here. Where is she at, though? When I spoke with her at the end, she said she'd be here soon. Oh, wait, that was Chloe. When Norma says soon, there's no telling how long it'll actually be. It might be fast if you just go and get her. Sennel, could you go check the inn? Yeah, alright. 
I'll go with you. Chloe joined the party. Moses joined the party. Jay joined the party. All right, well, let's fix the party up again, shall we? Jay, you're gonna go over there, and that's basically the rest of the entire order, essentially, so... Well, minus Norma, of course, which we obviously have in the top spot, or the fourth spot, I mean. But we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens when we get there. Don't you worry about it, because we're gonna go in there right now. We're gonna go to Norma in the inn, assuming she's in the inn, what if she's not in the inn? What if she's somewhere else? She is here. Well then, how about this? Um, I'm afraid that's not going to work. Come on, this is one deal you don't want to miss. <coughs> so she does the same thing though. Look, I've got my livelihood to worry about here. Oh, hey guys, what's up? We waited for you, but you never came. We're here to pick you up. Ah, yeah, well, see the old man here. Zamoran, please stop pestering me. I can't just rent you a room indefinitely. Deja vu. I think Senel and Harry were both here last. That's probably why they both reacted like that. No, I mean, renting out the room is fine, but you have to pay for it. I said I'd give you a discount. Zemoran, that's supposed to be my line! Hmm, now where have I seen this before? Yeah... I'm here in the name of research to further development of the legacy. But still, five gold a month, that's a little... Five gold? That's cheap. Really? <laughs> Were you even listening to me? Who said anything about five gold a month? Oh, was it five gold a night? Still, that's not quite... Oh, please don't be absurd. Obviously, it's five gold a year. Oh my gosh. Cut it out, old man. You're embarrassing me. Five gold a night is nothing, though. You could pay that easily. Look who's talking. In all the years I've run this in, I've never been once encountered anyone as ridiculous as... You two. As? No, I guess there was one person before. Someone came here and s said he would buy the entire inn for five gold. Really? You, you wouldn't happen to know that person, would you? <laughs> I, I don't know anyone that stupid. Indeed, I couldn't possibly allow myself to be associated with such a world-class idiot. That's gotta be Sven, right? Oh, gosh. Unfortunately, it would seem so. <laughs> oh, no, they really do. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, I suppose it can't be helped. You can just add my room fee to Norma's bill. What? I have to pay for you, too? All right, I'll make a note of that. Charge room to Norma. Hey, don't I get a say in any of this? Don't be so selfish. Me? What about you? I'm going out for a bit. I'll leave the rest to you. Hey, we're not done yet. Hold up. You seriously expect me to pay for you? Prefer if you paid in advance. Samaran is... How shall I put it? Not quite what I expected. Forget about Zamoran for now. Let's get back to Will's house. I'm sure he's getting tired of waiting. I'm not going to wait that long, but alright, sure. Norma, join the party. Well, so that's how things go, huh? Alright. Uh, Norma, I'm just going to go ahead and... Oops. There you go, and there you go, and... There you go. The party has been fixed. Everything is as it should be. Everything makes a lot more sense now. What are we going to do? I have no idea. <coughs> Fragment of Everlight that is lost in power. Oh. That's unfortunate. I just imagine just losing power for no reason. Actually, wait a second. Oh. The red one's only evasion plus two. It's not even that much. I wonder if there is a way to grind for that stuff. Like in Tales of Symphonia. I have a request. I'd like you all to come with me to the village of the fairness. Uh-oh. 
But didn't they... So the battle ended. They surrounded it with a barrier and shut themselves in. Now Cheryl's the only one who can contact them. However, uh, yesterday we received a notice that they would remove the barrier. Seems they're now willing to accept human visitors as well. What made them change their minds? I'm sure Moritz could answer that if you ask him. He's actually requested a meeting with us himself. Moritz? I received a message as well. As their ambassador, I'd like to second this request. No problem for us, but what about you, Shirley? I'll go too, of course. Are you sure? You might run into Thyra. Alright, oh, that's where Tulip lives. Tulip? She might start saying the same kind of thing she did last time. I'll be fine, but I may wind up causing trouble for you all. Nonsense, ain't none of it your fault. Shirley, you're such a good girl. Well, now that that's settled, let's get moving. Charge! Oh, come on, people! Charge! Well, now that we're all psyched up, I guess we should get going. <coughs> Why don't you participate? Charge! Harriet, I want you to stay and watch the house. Ah. We'll join the party. Oh yeah, I forgot about Will existing for a second there. Alright, well... Now the party is officially properly aligned. So, now that we are good where we're at, let's freaking go. Let's do this to the village of the fairness we go. What will we run into over here? Nobody knows. I'm actually really curious how the interactions with Moritz are going to go, because I really thought he was either dead or arrested. Or, or, well, not both, but... <laughs> I don't know. I just thought we'd never see him again. So it just seems really weird that... I don't know. I don't know how the guy's still alive at this point, but... Eh, it is what it is. Alright, that's that. And it doesn't look like you have anything new. <coughs> I don't think. What the guy here? All right, whatever. Thank you for appreciating the business. Now let's get our butts over to the fairness lands of doom. Yes, it is the fairness lands of doom. You heard me correctly, or maybe you didn't actually hear me correctly. I don't know. Nobody knows the truth. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> To the village of the Fairness. Thank you for reminding me that, Norma, just in case I forgot randomly. Village of the Fairness, okay. Let's go! We're coming back, Fairness people. I am ready for all the racism here. Village of the Fairness, hello there. Yeah, though, they are people of the water. Why don't they just live in the lake? Why are they going to live in on land that's made on the lake? So weird. I thought it just be the lake. We can see the village too. He said they removed the barrier. It's probably best not to expect any serious output from Moses' brain. I guess that makes sense. Hello, everyone. We're back. Long time no see. Run away! These people are evil! Oh, what a wonderfully warm welcome. I can feel the love just pouring out. I'm so happy I could cry. Norma, cut the sarcasm. But come on! These people are ridiculous, honestly. Thyra. What do you think you're doing here? She's already angry. That's one scary lady. She's not going to let us get a ward in Edgewise, is she? Wee! I don't want to hear a word from you. Go home, you're not wanted here. Wait, I want to talk to you. 
Well, I don't. If you want to talk, why don't you talk to yourself? Byra, that's enough. Chief! I asked these people to come here. Gasp! Byra! I apologize for her behavior. Especially after you've all come all the way here. It's alright. Please come to my room, we can talk more there. <coughs> I'm still surprised he's alive, it's ridiculous. Mm, welcome to Shy Peddler, I'm always smiling kind of, and you got some new stuff, go ahead, okay. What do you got? What kind of new stuff do you got? Wow, this isn't really anything good at all, this is pretty outdated equipment. I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty outdated alright. <coughs> well, don't mind me. I'm gonna buy some butter. I'm gonna buy some hot dog buns. I'm gonna buy a lot of sausages. And some cabbages. And some custard cream. And also some chocolate. And also oil. Okay, that's everything. Buy it. There we go. I think it cost 10,000 gold. Yeah, thanks. So your room is here, or somewhere else? Okay, it is here. Really, I'd intend to remove the barrier sooner. It took longer than I anticipated to convince everyone. From what we just saw, it didn't look like many of them were convinced. Do not worry, we fairness no longer have any reason to treat your readiness as our enemy. Why did that change all of a sudden? Fairness respect the will of Nervous above all else! Nerfus desires peace between the Fairness and Oraris. Therefore, we shall strive to accomplish that. We are grateful for your decision. However, we too are living beings. Naturally, there are still some lingering emotional issues to be resolved. Even so, we must eliminate the en enmity between us. We must move forward towards a new future together. Lawrence! It was thanks to Shirley, Settle, and the rest of you that I was able to realize this. Let's work together to find a path we can all share. Now, as for the matter at hand, I have a request to make of you. Yes? Recently, we've had frequent sightings of black mist in the area around our home. Uh oh. Shirley has informed me that you've encountered it several times as well. Do you know what the Black Mist is? Unfortunately, right now, we have nothing but the reports I've been hearing. Leave me... The reports I've been hearing leave me very uneasy. The Black Mist is not something we can ignore. I agree. Let us cooperate on this matter in order to ascertain the truth. Thyra, the Chief has guessed right now. All of you! You guys suck! What is it, Thyra? I told you to go home. Didn't you hear me? Chief, please send these people away at once. Would you stop thinking about just yourself? Oh, I think it's you or Rareness who are the ones thinking of only about yourselves. What? Racist! After you used and killed as many fairness as you did, I'm surprised you had the gall to say such a thing. Is anything I've said untrue? Why did Nerefus have to choose someone like you? Why couldn't I have been a Marinus? I'd have taken the, your rareness and the land and wiped them out completely. Man, I'm sure glad Tulip didn't get the job. No kidding. How dare you make fun of me? Eek! I think I just wet myself. Uh oh. <laughs> Too much information, Moses. What is it? The power to annihilate people is not something I'd wish on anyone. 
What is that supposed to mean? Exactly what it sounds like. I don't understand a thing you say. Get away from me. Don't ever come near me again. Hey. Settle, I'm fine. If you've forgotten that you're a Fairness, or you've thrown away your role as a Marinus, then don't show your face around here. This place is for us Fairness to live. Senel? What? What? Don't get near me. Shirley hasn't forgotten anything. Not that she's a Fairness, nor that she's a Marinus. What could you know about it? Not a thing. I'm not Shirley, so I can't know her suffering. But I can say this. Shirley is more aware than anyone of the fact that she's a Mar Fairness. She lives with a deep understanding of what it means to be a Marinus. If that's the case, then... She chose to be with us in order to help make a better future for the Fairness. She's working to fulfill her responsibilities of Marinus in a different way. In other words, she's a lot more courageous than a whiny little brat like you. What did you just call me? Just who do you think people think you are? I think Morris just isn't saying anything. You can't complain about things not changing if you're not willing to make any effort to change them yourself. Don't be a coward. How dare you? Fenimore accepted us, you know. Fenimore did? Impossible! You spend all your time worrying about who's a fairness and who's an rareness. Nothing will ever change. Don't you think it's about time you realize that? I won't let you trick me. I'll never trust you! Thyra! Still really dumb. Moritz, excuse us. Going after Shirley, I presume. I don't mind. I was finished anyway. <coughs> okay. Okay, Moritz. You say so. Shirley at the party. Well, well, well. Shirley, Shirley, Shirley ran away. We get to go chase after Thyra. And Thyra's all like, I'm racist still. Whatever, you know. This is... I see it's fun, Morris. I'm sorry I'm so late in coming to see you, Fenimore. I should have come here sooner. I guess he probably wants to scold me for taking so long. I kept thinking about you when I was talking to Thyra. Your sister says the same things you did, and she looks just like you. You were angry when you learned I was the Marinus. You were really angry when you learned about Sunnel. But despite all that, we still became friends, right? I can't tell you how comforting it was to have you with me. It's thanks to you that I'm here today. I want to talk more with you. I want to spend more time with you. I'm sorry, I know I need to be more positive. But don't worry. I'm okay now. I'm not alone anymore. Seno's with me and the others too. I'll do what needs to be done. So please rest peacefully now. I'll take care of Thyra too. Here, let me see the title of Blessing Girl. Well. I guess I can't really do anything if the party's like this, so. Okay then, we'll play a settle for at least a little bit. But we're probably not gonna get any battles with him, so. Ha ha ha! No battles with Sentinel today! If only, right? If only. Hi, Shirley! Shirley, are you alone? Did you find Thyra? Oh no, I came across Fenimore's grave here first, so... I see. Shirley, are you down in the dumps or what? Norma, be a little more considerate. It's alright, I'm not alone anymore. Whoa! 
Earthquake! Whoa, an earthquake? Ah! What was that scream? Oh, it sounded like Thyra. It came from near the entrance. Oh, surely joined the party. <coughs> well, time to fix the party, I guess, anyway. All right, Shirley, you're gonna get boosted up now. I don't know why that one specifically took longer than the others, but anyway. And we also got a new title as well. Blessing Girl? Zelhiz, the meaning, that means blessing. The blessing received will last forever. That's good, though, that's good. May it last forevermore. Okay, hey, Thyra, where are you? Hi. No, I'm... Uh-oh. Offer unto me your hatred and your desires, child. Look out! So is that why they were blaming Geet? Because something like that popped up, maybe? I can maybe see why they'd get it confused with Geet, but still. Let's get it. Stay away from me! The Black Mist! Uh-oh. Turn to that round thing again. Is it going to possess a monster? Not if we know, but let's go. Yeah, Roger, you bet! I won't let you hurt the people I care about. Yeah, let's go get this thing. Let's freaking do it, man. Proceed with caution. Alright, I'll try to proceed with caution. What we got here? Golf fiend. <coughs> oh man, not the golf again. Except this one's royalty. This one's insane, man! Alright, 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 okay. I kinda wish we had Chloe in our party, to be honest, but... Oh well. It is what it is. I kinda like the party we had with Shirley, Sennel, Chloe, and Norma. It was a good party. Then Jay got bumped up randomly. But that's okay! Jay's allowed to be bumped up, you know? He's allowed to. It's part of the rules. Oh, wait, sure, I didn't even sure, but okay. I could have sworn I was actually doing something else, but alright, then I'll heal you two while I'm at it, I guess. There we go, there we go. Cure time! Congratulations on that. No, 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 no! I don't know if we're going to be able to get our climax for the end of this fight, since we didn't really have anything before the, after the previous boss fight. Okay. Oh, the combo ended. Rip. <coughs> no, stop. Step away from me. Okay, 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 okay. What do we, what do we go for? We're gonna go for Senel, of course. Revive, man. Oh no, Senel! Oh, that was close. That was pretty close, man. Okay, Norma. I'm just kind of glad you're not doing another revive, I guess, at this point. Ooh, dang, was he his own version? Oh, Demon Fang! Demon That's illegal! You can't use Demon Fang, man! Oh, Thunderblade, Thunderblade. I don't know if that was gonna hit me or not, so I just wanted to be sure that I was gonna miss. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. Well, that's friggin', that's friggin' nice, I guess. Okay, so here's the plan. I guess we'll just use a Light Bottle then. We'll use a light bottle, and we will use a... Okay, now Norma, I want you to use a revive on... Senel, please. Alright, hopefully that works, hopefully that works. Oh boy, he's dead again, so I guess that's not gonna work then. Uh... Alright, how about... Okay, before you do that, Norma, life bottle on Jay, please. You know? Oh, jeez. No. Oh, jeez! Please! No. Okay, that, that works, I guess. That works. Holy flipping crud. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Righty-o, then! Okay, Norma, be sure you run away, please. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. You need to freaking heal fast. Oh, please. Sano, why? Don't be like this. 
Oh, why? No, Norma, why are you running right towards it? What are you doing? This is going to be terrible. This is going to be so bad. Uh, revive me, please. You won't get away. I'm dead again! Oh my gosh, as soon as I got him, I couldn't even run away. It was just immediately like, oh, oh I'm dead again, I guess. That's cool, I guess. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, okay. And dead again. I'm still gonna use it on Jay. All right. Norma? <coughs> Life bottle, please. On Jay. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. And I hope you're using resurrection. Oh, you fool. You absolute fool, you. I swear. Alright, fine. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, let's uh, we'll go Norma. Life bottle on Senel, please. Alright, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Not a big deal. And Senel's got 666 HP. Very nice. The perfect... Are you kidding me? That timing! Okay, use it on J then. Assuming you can still change target. You cannot. It was a waste. It was a waste. That's a, that's a shame. Four, five? Are you serious, Norma? What are you doing right now? I swear. Resurrection. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, change targets, please. Change targets. Resurrection on Sentinel, please. Okay, this better work. This better work. And then I'll do a <coughs> that. Ready when you are. Come on. What? Why did resurrection not go off? Oh, now it gets off, man. You use it on yourself? She seriously just used resurrection on herself when I told her settle? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm mad now. I'm mad. That's ridiculous. What a waste. What a waste. Oh boy. Had to use a life bottle at that point because that was just ridiculous. Fireball! I'm gonna use a friggin' orange gel on myself just so I can be good. There we go. Alright. Alright, Jay. Alright, Jay. I'll get you if you don't die right now. Well, that is a little unfortunate. I just got interrupted right there. So now Jay is dead randomly. Okay. Okay, Senel. I got you, dude. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Bro, I got you. Okay. Woo. Okay. Norma. You're not casting. So resurrection. On Jay. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. She's doing it. Good. 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 All right. And then Jay, I'm gonna use Cure on you. Alright, come on, 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 come on. Cure! Alright, good stuff, good stuff. And I cured him and he immediately takes a bunch of damage again, so I guess I better go back to healing right now. Uh, Senel, you first. You're the one getting looked at right now. Oh, Demon Fish! And Jay, I'll do it on you now too. Okay, that's not that much damage. That could've been worse. <laughs> go, go, go! Oh my gosh, no, too much damage. Sentinel, calm down, dude. Calm down, man! No! Get away from me! Okay, I don't like that that thing uses its own version of Sword Rain, though, but yeah, it is what it is. Back away, back away, you monster. Back away! Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Ouch. Don't mind me. We finally maxed out our meter, but it's a little too late for that, I think. Alright, thank goodness. That was a close one. I like that enemy was worth very much experience in the first place, though. Minus 6.8 grade. Oh boy. Sometimes I have to wonder damage taken, item used. Attack enemy strong element. Took damage from enemy combo. Character KO'd. Player character KO'd. Oh boy. That's bad. That's really bad. What can you do? What can you do? It's all your fault. It's all because you came here. Oh, you stupid, stupid racist. We saved you and you're still blaming us. 
Shirley, watch out. W what are you? It's okay, don't be scared. Everything's okay. Well, there goes the mist. The mist cleared up. Are you alright? Are you hurt? The... Hmm? Thanks for saving me. I'm glad you're alright. Good thing indeed. Ah, Drune, I swear. Like, all the time. Every time, I swear. G-Girl! I should know what that black mist is. Really? Perhaps we may learn the truth from an unexpected source. You can do it, G-Girl! Yes, I remember now. You do? I've remembered that there's something I'm supposed to remember. Oh my gosh. Haven't we already established that? In other words, she hasn't actually remembered anything. Hmm, no, that's not quite right. What I mean is... Yes? Hmm, what was it? already forgotten what you were going to say! Oh my, that's too bad, isn't it? Come on, at least act like you're concerned! Oh my, Norma, you sound like you're having fun. How could you possibly think that? Oh, now that we're here, why don't we plant the seed? Plant the seed? What seed? I give up. Let us take a little seed, plant it gently, water it well. A little seedling nestled in the ground, grow up safe and sound. Can we just plant it here without asking anyone? I don't think it'll hurt anything, but... Oh well, it's already planted now anyway. There we go. All done, G-Girl? You certainly look quite happy now. So now the black mist is even more mysterious than it was before. When an earthquake occurred, the mist appeared, and then it formed into a monster. Will, you look like something's bugging you. Would you think I was crazy if I suggested that the mist might somehow react to human emotion? I've been pondering the possibilities well. I mean, it's nothing more than a possibility, but... On top of that, the mist appears to have something like a will of its own. Who's controlling it? And how? It seems unlikely it's a form of Eris. But where did it come from, though? Because, I mean, it never appeared before we finished off Mer or Nerefis. Well, at least we got rid of that monster. I guess we'll, that'll do for now. Yeah, and Tulip didn't seem to get hurt. Finished with Morris as well, so we should get you getting back to town. Guess we might as well, huh? Can I talk to you for just a minute? You don't have to agree with me, but please just listen. All right. Thanks. I think it's very easy to combat hatred with hatred. Wh what? But that won't allow us to move forward. Even if I used my power as a mariner to destroy the land, it wouldn't lead to happiness. I don't think unleashing hatred can lead to happiness. How can you be so sure? Instead of using my power for war, I want to use it all to believe in people. To believe in people? Your rareness and the fairness aren't really all that different. It's obvious once you live with them for a little while. 
Exactly. But the Arverian has committed countless acts of cruelty against us. Yes, that's true. But it doesn't mean that all Arverians are cruel. I want to find a path that the Faranus and Arverianus can walk along and together hand in hand. That's why I'm staying with Senna and the others. Anyway, that's how I feel right now. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. If you don't want to hate me, that's fine. But I'll continue to believe that a day will come when everyone will understand. Sorry to keep you guys, let's go. Wait. Are you happy right now? Yes, very. How can I say anything after seeing a smile like that? I don't think I can forgive you anytime soon. I don't think I can agree with you anytime soon. But little by little, I like to restore happiness in this place too. I want to see people smile again. Yeah, let's do our best to see that happen. So until then... Until then, please let me hate you. <laughs> okay. That's fine, but I'll make it easier for everyone. It's okay, I'm sure she understands someday. Yeah. You did a marvelous job of telling you how that you feel, Shirley. Thank you. Yes, let's make our way back to town now, shall we? Someday, we may be glad about it. What? But the Marinus turned out to be the kind of person she did. Jeez. We've barely begun to walk, and no one can yet tell what the future will bring. However, the sea is calm. Yes. There may be hope. That smile was real. It was real. You better believe it. Well, back to town we go. Here we go, back to town. Yes, we are gonna go back to town right now. We're gonna go and see what's next. I wonder how long the interlude's gonna be. Wanna head back to our place? Yeah, let's do it. Back to town we go! Oh boy, oh boy. This town's not big enough for the two of us. But it is big enough for thousands of us. I don't know how many people actually live here, it's probably hundreds. It seems like a small town. But then again, video games always tend to make towns smaller than they actually are, so I don't know. Could be actually thousands. I can't tell if you made any progress or not, you know? Yes, that's too bad. I'm glad we went to the village. I gotta talk about a lot of things. Yeah. I wonder if Tulip will calm down a bit now. She doesn't need to calm down. If she has something to say, she can look us right in the eye and say it. Yeah, that's how it should be. <coughs> Excuse me. What's up, Chloe? Chloe? Hmm? Oh, nothing. I'm just sad for no reason. I'm so beat. I want to go to bed. Oh yes, me too. A nice fluffy bed. Let's go ahead and call it a day. Alright, to bed! Charge! Hmm, I don't have a bed though. It's easy to combat hatred with hatred. She's right. That was the easiest choice to make. If someone asked me if I was happy right now, I doubt I could answer with a smile. Well, I mean, I kind of get where she's coming from, but... But still, but still. Are we going, I'm gonna say, are we going to a save screen, or what are we doing right now? Young Chloe. Mother, please open your eyes. Please open your eyes. Mother, mother. If you had simply handed over your valuables, your lives would have been spared. Father. Chloe 
looks different in a dress, gotta say that. No! No, father, father, it can't be, no! Uh, uh, oh yeah, freaking Stingle, I forgot about, he's freaking running around somewhere, he's alive, what the crud? I completely forgot about that, is this Stingle? Uh, uh get away! Dot, dot, dot. No, no! If you are a wheel of sword, I will show you no mercy, but if that is your resolve, then so be it. Ah, 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 ah! You can't even find the resolve to fight. So the noble house of Volans is reduced to this. Get away from me! No, no, get away! Ah, ah, no, no, no! No, 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 no! Nightmares. <sighs> Poor Chloe. That dream again. I thought I'd finally stopped having it. She gave me the next character quest we're gonna be doing. Oh, it's raining. When will I finally be free from this curse? <coughs> Good question. Chloe, when will you stop having nightmares? It's okay. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. The rain stopped. I hadn't had that dream since I returned to the legacy. I thought I'd finally... Because I'm not allowed to forget. Is that you, Elsa? It's unlocked. I, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Father went out to search for medicinal er ingredients, but he still hasn't come back. So I... <coughs> Calm down, Elsa. Speak slowly. Oh, okay. Did something happen to Alcott? When he left, he said he'd be back by last night. But he still hasn't returned, and I'm starting to worry. Understood. I'll go look for him. Where was he going? He said he was going to some fortress. The fortress of the VA something army. Vaklov's army? The hidden fortress Vaklov's army used. Vaklov, yes, that's it. But Chloe, could you could you please take me with you? No, it's too dangerous outside the city. On top of that, you're ill. I can't allow you to do something like that. I know, but please, I'm so worried about him. Alcott would be so sad if your condition worsened. This isn't the first time Father hasn't returned for days. Every time he either comes back exhausted or seriously injured. I understand how you feel, but you need to wait here. He could come back at any time. If he found you gone, it would only give him cause to worry. Father is searching for those ingredients for me. I can't bear the thought of him being injured or getting into danger just because of me. Elsa. So please take me with you. No. Please! I'll ask Coolidge and the others for help. You wait here. You won't change your mind no matter what? No matter what. Is that be really bad if I change my mind, obviously? Alright, I'm sorry for being so stubborn. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot, dot! Amy, where are you? I just heard you speak. Whoa, just hiding somewhere! You'll never find me, though! Alright. Yeah, you're probably right. Also, convenient to your theme song, just so it happens to be playing right now. So, Senel, wake up! How long do you plan on staying in bed? Hmm, Shirley? I'm not Shirley, I'm Hattie. Morning, Shirley. Hey, snap out of it, wake up! Like father, like daughter, huh? <laughs> I didn't even think about that, actually. Stop babbling already and come to my house! Chloe's looking for you! 
Why did he just jokingly call her Shirley? That was weird. <coughs> that was that was really weird. All right. Well, anyway, I guess that's enough for today's episode. On the next exciting episode, we'll continue the. I don't know. I guess we'll continue the. Excuse me. The character interlude, and we'll see. Ooh, man, I keep having like freaking burps randomly. Ah. We'll see what's going on in other places. So until then, everyone, let me know what you thought about, well, I don't know, just everything. The fact that Moritz isn't holding a grudge against us, which is kind of nice, I guess, but... Hmm, did we finally fix Fenimore's sister? I have no idea. Who really knows? Did we fix her? Maybe we didn't fix her. But anyway, well, it's just us now. Just settle. Just us and settle. That's all that's left. Hey everyone, on the next episode we'll go see what's going on and don't forget to vote for the next Let's Play everyone. We are now more than We are now more than 10 bonus episodes deep. I think this is number 11 if I'm not mistaken. So yes, it could there could still be a lot more left to go. We could be close to the end. I have no idea, but either way, we are on an interlude, so blah 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 blah. What do you think's gonna be the next character quest, everyone? I'm guessing I'm guessing Chloe. I'm guessing Chloe, because I mean you know, kind of a little bit of foreshadowing with the whole thing. I mean, who knows? Maybe that's what it's going to start next episode. Maybe we're, maybe we're literally about to start it. I have no idea. Anyway, everyone, I'll see y'all later. Have a good one. Bye! Hello, everyone! You've reached the end of this video. But before we go for the day, I'd just like to give a quick shout-out to our four Tier 5 channel members. Phoenix Edgeworth, Acheron X2, Menthi, and Sheena Fujibayashi. Thank you, you all for being awesome and supporting the channel! If you too would like to get your name shouted out at the end of each video and live stream, shoutouts are available to all tier 4 and 5 channel members. Hope you all have an awesome day! I'll see y'all later!